The Biafran question beyond Namdi Kanu's IPOP. Majid revealed. Nigeria is in a state of undeclared war with itself. The most populous black nation on earth is fighting on different fronts. From the Boko people insurgency to the scourge of marauding killer Fulani headsmen and the militant activities of the Avengers in the Niger Delta. Clearly, all is not well with Nigeria. The common denominator of all these groups is separatism brought about not only by structure of the Nigerian state but in its operation by the political leadership. The longest running separatist agitation is the Biafran aspiration among Nigerian Igbo ethnic. The Biafran struggle has resurfaced in the form of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, a separatist group led by Namde Kanu. The Biafran spirit is as alive today as it was in 1967 because Nigerian is as divided today as was then. The Igbo ethnic group, one of the largest in Nigeria, with over 40 million people, is the most marginalized and politically disadvantaged. The marginalization of the Igbo is systematic and far-reaching. Modern Nigerian is a British colonial legacy. The 18th century was the age of European exploration of sub-Saharan Africa following the Industrial Revolution and the declining slave trade to determine the feasibility of legitimate trade in the interior of the continent. In the preceding era of the transatlantic slave trade, European merchants had limited knowledge of the interior of sub-Saharan Africa as trade was conducted on the coast with local businessmen serving as middlemen between them and chieftains of slave raiding chiefdoms. Following the amalgamation of the various kingdoms, chiefdoms and peoples of Nigeria in 1914 by the colonial governor of the territorial formerly known as the Niger area, Lord Frederick Lugard, Nigerian journey to nationhood began. The various peoples who suddenly found themselves under a common umbrella accepted their new status with mixed feelings and reservations with each group seeking a better deal within the constitutional framework of the new nation. Uh -huh. Thank you for listening to this news. Um, my viewers, there is nothing beyond the knowledge. There is nothing concerning Biafra that is beyond the knowledge of Namde Kano. There is nothing. He understood all the antics. He understood all the methods. And that is why he was uh, he was able to carry it out with lots of lots of um, confidence. If you watch it very well, it is Nam the Kano that has been doing exactly what is expected as far Biafran pursuit and actualization is concerned. Yes, it is Mazenam the Kano. It is Mazenam the Kano that has been on the train, on the train of free pursuit of Biafran freedom. Yeah, maybe you don't know. If you watch all the uh, different Biafran groups, like BZE, uh, Masop, and all of that, 
before IPOP. You see that it is IPOP that is mostly on track. It is IPOP that is mostly on the track. So um, the pursuit for Biafran Freedom, I will tell you that it is a pursuit that um, that really demands for um, focus. It, it needs someone with focus and better knowledge of what actually transpired in 1967 so that the person will be able to continue from where the Biafran warlord Odumegbu Ojuku started, stopped. Do you understand? And if you look at it very well, I think Namdekano has been very active on the train. He has been following that train. He has been following that that process. That step Odumegbu Ojuku have created, Namdekano has been following it. And that is why you see that uh, Biafran freedom and actualization has gotten to this um, reasonable and um, solid level today. You understand? Uh -huh. So that is just, so there is nothing above his understanding and knowledge of the Biafran freedom. There is nothing. I don't see anything. I don't. If there is, you will know. You will know. When Inam the Kanu is falling out of track, you will know. You don't need anyone to tell you. You understand? You don't need anyone to tell you that, look, this guy is falling out of track. But if you look at all the steps he has been taking, he has been very, very accurate. And you make try to compare and contrast it to what happened in 1967, you'll see that he is in line. Some person are saying, not that I'm not in support of Biafran, but I don't like the approach Namdi Kanu is using. That is what some person are saying. Let me tell you, for you to achieve Biafran freedom, for you to pursue Biafran actualization, you need to be rigorous. You need to be a little aggressive because you are dealing with stubborn people here. Tough people. You are dealing with strong-hearted people. Do you understand? So that's why you need to be aggressive sometimes. So Unam Dekano is aggressive because of the kind of people in, uh, in Nigeria and the kind of people he encounter while in the, in the struggle. Look at the, num the numerous threats that he has received. Look at the numerous threats that he has been receiving. What, are you, what do you have to say about that? Mm -hmm. So, my dear viewers, um, please, your own comment concerning all these are very, very important. Deem it free to leave your own comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you. Mm -hmm.